Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And we've been doing some antenna testing, and we've been using um, SDR console, a couple of versions, version 2.3 and 3.0, and we were getting some differences just between the two versions. And the, and the thing is about the SDR console program and my SDR Fifi radio is that there's a ton of variables and I'm sure that those two versions 2.3 and 3.0 are not set up identical I know they're not but trying to get them set up identical it'd be impossible so what I was seeing between those two versions of software using the same SDR radio and the same antennas the two antennas um, was a big noise difference. So I decided what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a real radio. This is my Texan PL 680 radio and I have the antennas coming in to the external antenna jack on this radio. And I've got a switch so I can switch between two antennas. One is the MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna and the other one is Timothy's HF dipole antenna that was cut and designed for the 31 meter band. So I'm going to test those and now we can only test it based on audio. We don't have the display, we can't look at the, the screen of the SDR console program. This is probably the true test because most of you this is the kind of setup you're going to be using. You're not going to be using an SDR. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Now, it is about 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in Florida. And uh, we're able to right now get WWV on 10 megahertz, which is close to what the dipole antenna is designed for. It's designed for the 31 meter band which goes from about 9.4 megahertz to 9.9 .9 megahertz. So close enough. We'll also try Radio Australia, which is 9.580. Okay, here we go. So let me, I'm gonna turn the audio up, hopefully loud enough, and I'm gonna try to not talk too much and just let you listen. I will interject to tell you when I switched antennas. Okay, right now, the vertical antenna from MFJ is connected. Okay, I let that go for a long time so that you could hear that announcement on the minute. So now I'm going to switch over to the HF dipole that's designed for 31 meters. Now, the vertical antenna that I had on just then is the top, the peak of the vertical antenna is at 31 meters, uh, excuse me, 31 feet. And it's just a long wire that goes down the length of the fiberglass pole. The dipole antenna is about a 45 feet total length. And uh, as I've said in previous videos, one leg is facing northwest and one leg is facing south. Okay, here we go. Atlanta. 
and quite a rough 55 rushes there at the TPC, January 1 8. Storm warning, zero four five miles, 35 rushes in the north, 55 miles. Within 40 miles a mile southwest, and 50 miles a mile southwest quadrant. Wind 55 miles a mile, east of the TPC. 11 I believe the female voice you're hearing is coming out of Hawaii where the male voice is coming out of Colorado. At least as you used to be. So I'm actually getting both stations this morning. And you probably noticed that the noise level was much higher on the HF horizontal dipole antenna. Okay, now I'm going to go to 9580. Now this should be Radio Australia. Now the other thing is I just noticed is that the S meter up here at the top. Let me zoom in so you can see that better. Okay, the S meter up at the top here is full scale. It's pegged. So we might even be overloading the radio a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm on Radio Australia on 9.580 and I'm on the dipole antenna. Now I'm going to switch back and forth quickly to give you a better comparison. Now, we're really comparison not the two antennas themselves, but the two types of antennas. The vertical versus horizontal. Okay, here we go. We're on the horizontal dipole. Okay, I, I was trying to figure out some way. Here, I'll use a piece of paper and uh, I will put on this piece of paper, I'll put the dipole. Boy, my writing's not too good. And then down here, I'll put the vertical. That way, I can point to which the antenna is connected to, I mean, the radio is connected to, without talking over what you're hearing. So I'll put this right here. Hopefully you can see it. Dipole vertical. Okay, I'm on the dipole right now. I'm going to turn the volume up. Okay, to me, listening to the audio, the vertical sounded better. Not a lot better. It seemed to have less noise um, than the dipole. Again, there's a ton of variables here. We've got different coax cables, different manufacturers of the coax cables on the two different antennas. Um, of course, the antennas are in different spots in my yard. And of course, the dipole is horizontal, kind of horizontal. Parts of it is sloping down. The vertical, of course, is vertical. So that's the test. Um, 
I don't see anything wrong with this dipole. Doing a good job. Um, Timothy sells these from, depending on the particular antenna and what it's cut for, I think he sells them from, from, I'm guessing here because I don't remember, about $30 to $80. Uh, of course, the longer the antenna um, for lower frequencies, the more it's going to cost because it's got more material cost. The vertical from MFJ, and I keep forgetting to look up the number. I was trying to see if I had a MFJ catalog out here. The MFJ is $99 plus shipping. And um, it's 31 feet telescopic fiberglass. Now, it's not designed to set up and leave up. It's used to take in the fields or someplace and set it up, use it, take it down, put it in storage. I'm leaving it set up. Probably not going to last very long as far as number of years, leaving it out in the weather all the time. Probably shouldn't do that, but that's the way it is. Okay, so anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I think this will conclude my testing of the dipole antenna. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to take it down because uh, Timothy uh, sent me another one. He sent me one that was designed for the 40 meter amateur radio band. And uh, I'll be doing that in the future. So thanks for watching and have a great day. I like my background. I changed the background to this. It's less reflective, so I don't get so many glares. I think that's, this is the first time I've used it. I think it's working. Bye-bye.